Hi everyone, and welcome to the first in a set of tutorial videos from StarksWarehouse.com. In these videos, we'll show you how to make your very own wearable Iron Man suit. As you see, this is Starks Warehouse website. It's a brand new website, just launched. So, I would encourage you to go have a look at it. It's pretty brand new at the moment, so I don't have that much on there. But, as we go along, we will be adding more tutorials, videos, and other interesting things. Now, I know it's Starks Warehouse, but we won't only be doing um, Iron Man suits. As you can see at the bottom, hopefully after we've done the Iron Man tutorials, we will be learning how to make other things as well. And if you have any tutorials that you'd like to share with the world, then be sure enough to send them in to us and we'll get them on the website uh, to show off your creations. Now, let's get on with the video. Okay. The th first thing you're going to need um, is this. This is called Pepecura Designer. Um, and this is the paid version. There's also the free version to call Pepecura Viewer, but I do encourage you to get the paid version if you can get it, because the paid version allows you to edit the files we'll be downloading in a second. And these are the files that I'm using at the moment for my own suit. These are the Mark IV and Mark VI files. I will be using personally the Mark IV as I prefer the circle art reactor on the chest rather than the triangle there. I'll just pull some up to show you. There we are. Now this is a 3D modeling program. It basically shows you the 3D model of the suit on your computer screen. You can size it up to however you want, which I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. And once you're happy with it, as you can see on this side of the screen over here, it will show it will once you've done it'll print uh, this 3D model onto cardstock for you to cut out, stick together, and make a 3D suit. Which you can then most people would probably either use fiberglass and resin to make the suit hard. But in this case, we're going to be using foam to transfer the cardboard templates onto foam, cut it out, hot glue it together, and there we go. We've got a flex flexible, durable, wearable Iron Man suit. And then in future, I'm going to be casting it in resin um, and making my own hard Iron Man suit. Okay, now the files that you need, like I say, actually, sorry about that. The Pepe Hero Designer, you need to go to this website here, I'll put the link below in the description and also on my website for this. If you go to Pepe Hero Designer, hit the download button on the side, it'll bring it up with either Pepe Hero Designer or the free Pepe Hero Viewer. Like I say, I encourage you to get the Pepe Hero Designer as you can then edit. Um, your Pepecura files to a suit size that's suitable for yourself. The Pepecura viewer allows you to view and print the files, but you can't edit them. So whatever the size they're in at the moment, that's the size that they're going to be when they're printed out. <laughs> so I do encourage you to get the designer. Um, it's not that much. It's $38, as you can see right there. So it's not that much at all. And it does come in very, very handy. Okay, the files, they will also be put in the description and on my website. Like I said, the files that I have here, these are a cross between either Mark IV, which is the circular art reactor design, and the Mark VI, which is the newer triangular design. And also, it's just been released. Um, are the Avengers Mark 7. These are already edited in film. I've got to say, these uh, files aren't my own. As you can see, these files here was made by Darkside 501st, all the way down, and the film edit of them was produced by Jackie's Rocket. So these aren't mine, but they, but I do want to give a big thank you to the guys that made them because without you guys, we'd be nowhere. And also the Mark IV and Mark VI ones, 
These are made by Robo3867 and edited by Stealth. Now you can find all these guys over on the RPF.com. Um, they do on, they're on other sites, but personally, I just stick to the RPF.com. This is just personal decision. But there is a lot of other good sites out there as well. So please check them out. I'll feel, throw a few links below and I'll let you check them out. Okay. So once you've got the Pepper Cura file that you want in, uh, your Pepper view or designer, you want to scale it. And say, you can scale it in Pepper Cura Designer. Um, to scale, I'll put a link to the Dented Helmet. This is another great forum with a lot of great help from people. And it has a great tutorial on how to scale your own Pepper Cura armor. So I'll put a link to this down below. As you can see, there's lots of different suits and armor that people make. And it tells you how to scale it and a few different methods. So I'll place them down below and also on my website. Uh, I just want to show you guys that when you do download the files, if you can't each of the sections over here, you'll notice it highlights where that section is on the actual armor itself. Now when you look through the files, don't be worried if you only see half of the files there should be. This is because we're doing it in foam. If you did it in card and resin and fiberglass at all, you would need both halves of the uh, files. But because we're doing it in foam, you only need one half of the suit. In this case it's the right hand side, as if it's going on you. And you see, you'll notice there is only one half of the suit. And exceptions like this part, because that's in the middle, it's harder to flip half over and do that, so it's just in one section. The same goes for the art reactor. That's in one section also. But for the majority of things, it's in different sections, and there is only one half of the files. Um, that's because when you print out these, you make one half, you uh, copy the transfers onto foam, cut them out, make one half, and because you still have the transfers after the templates afterwards, you can flip the templates over on the uh, upside down, and they'll be the exact the same for the second half on the left hand side. So just imagine this top half, copy that onto foam, trace around it, and then flip it upside down, and it'll be the exact same as this. So if you do get on there and notice that there's only half the files that what you think they should be, don't worry because uh, this is the reason for that, nothing else. So what you want to do, after you've scaled it to yourself, you want to grab yourself some cardstock, printer, and print the files out. Once you've printed the files out, it's just a case of cutting them out, uh, sticking them together, and carrying on. But like I said, in my case, because I'm using foam, I'll be showing you this in the next tutorial. I'm going to be cutting them out, transferring the detail of the cutouts onto the foam, um, just by copying over them with wax crayons I use, I find it the best method, and cutting them out, hot gluing them together. But we'll come to that in the next tutorial. So, Go grab yourself the downloads, grab yourself the Pepper Cure Viewer, and if you have a Pepper Cure Designer, even better. Um, start playing with these, and I will be uploading my next tutorial as soon as possible. So for now, from startswarehouse.com, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe this video. Visit the website, and I'll see you guys soon.